when we return some view from our view body like we do here, SwiftUI expects to receive back some kind of view that can be displayed in the screen. That might be a navigation stack, it might be a form, a text view, a picker, or something else, it doesn't matter. The point is it all conforms to the same view protocol so it can be displayed in the screen somehow. Now, if we want to return multiple things, we have various choices here, but three are particularly useful. HStack, VStack, and ZStack, or ZStack, which handle horizontal, vertical, and depth depth, right? Let's try it out now. Here's our default template with the usual VStack image text and padding and so forth. You can see this has a VStack in there already. So we have image above the text. Let's make it slightly simpler. Let's just say we have uh, uh, two pieces of text. I can say text, hello world, and then text. This is another text view. And you'll see in our little preview on the side here in the canvas, they're being displayed one above the other. So if you guys figure it out for us, oh, well, you haven't said it's a stack, so I'll just do a vertical stack for you automatically. But we can also have said, actually, I want to explicitly put these two things inside a vertical stack like that. And the result will be the same. Now, you might wonder, where's the point? If it's the same, why have the V stack? There are a few important differences. One, having this explicit code here, let us specify exactly how much spacing to place between these text views. We'd also specify an alignment. You can see here they're both centered, where you might say actually put them on a leading or trailing the left or right edge of the screen. And third, if we don't specify a VStack like this, then SwiftUI is actually free to rearrange those views as it sees fit. For example, if this view here were inside a larger view, and that larger view had a HStack, then this would also be inside the HStack. It'd be left and right positioning rather than above and below. So, being explicitly a good idea. As you can see, they have some sort of default spacing already, like a little bit, not a lot, but enough so they aren't on the same line. Um, but you can ex express some explicit spacing. We could say, for example, uh, my VStack here has a spacing of 20 points, and now they're slightly further apart. As you can see, they're also centered by default. But you can control that by saying, I want an alignment for my views. So you could say, for example, I want to take my views and use the alignment of dot leading, like that. And now they're both on the left edge, the leading edge of our view. We tend to say uh, leading and trailing edge in 50Y rather than left and right, because many languages like Arabic, for example, they flip things around. So they read from right to left. And when I say leading edge, that flips as well. So in a right to left language, uh, like a Hebrew, for example, it'll flip around, so it'll be on the, the right alignment for us. Anyway, that's a VStack. Alongside that, we have a HStack for doing horizontal stuff. So we could say HStack, and again, say a spacing. So I want spacing of 20, for example. I'll pad them apart like that. Now, these things, uh, both VStack and HStack, automatically adapt to fit their content. This stack exactly uh, fits the hello world and this other text view, text things inside it. And I prefer to align themselves to the center of the variable space, which is why they sit in the very middle of the screen. If you want to change that, you can add a different view called a spacer that will push the content of your stack to one side. And these spaces automatically take up all available remaining space. So for example, if we had a, a V stack of some items like V stack here with, let's do text first, then text, second, then text, third, they're all in the middle. But if I end that with a spacer, boom, they go to the top straight away. That space is just growing up to fill all the available space, put like a spring, force them upwards to the very top. If you add more than one spacer, they'll automatically divide the available space between them. For example, I might say, uh, let's have a spacer at the top. So it's back to being centered again but then let's have two spaces at the bottom. So it's now a third of the way up. So you can imagine this space here is one third of the space. This one's one third, this one's one third. So we have two thirds at the bottom and one third at the top here. So that's VStack and HStack. We also have ZStack or ZStack for controlling the depth of things. We can make views that overlap. Uh, in the case of our two text views, we had before, was it Hello World and something like that before? Uh, over here, 
this one. If you use a, a Z stack here, it wouldn't be great on the screen, as you'll see, that's a Z stack. Um, so they're now overlapping. So you can see they're both there, one above the other. Um, that's the point of Z stack, the overlapping stuff. It is very helpful sometimes. Um, it doesn't have the concept of spacing because there's no like depth space to attach to it, but it does have an alignment. And this is helpful because if you have like one large thing and then one smaller thing inside there, you can push a small thing around inside the larger thing. For example, you might say, I want a Z stack of alignment uh, top, for example, push a small thing to the top edge. Now Z stack draws its views from top to bottom. So this line gets drawn first, then this line, then all the way down, uh, which means this is at the back of the stack, this is the front of the stack. So for example, if you had an image with like a watermark over it, uh, you put the image first, so it's drawn at the back of the Z stack, and then the watermark afterwards below the line, so it gets drawn over the image like that. Give it a try now. Have a go on your own. Try placing some horizontal stacks inside a single vertical stack. You can make stacks inside stacks inside stacks as much as you want to. Try and make, for example, a, a three by three grid.